you did it. You built the products, you built the shop, but without any kind of audience to sell to, you're missing the key component that comes with passive income. Without any customers, there's no one to buy. So how do we solve this dilemma after you've put in the work to create the products and have the shop available for those customers? Hi, I'm Christina Scalera and welcome or welcome back. Hopefully you've been subscribed for a while now and if not, down below. And I always talk in my videos about how to sustain and grow your passive income through your online business. And today is no different because we're going to be diving in with a common topic that comes up for a lot of people that are following along here, which is Christina help. I don't have any followers and I need someone to sell to quick. How do I do this? I have been there and many of my clients have as well. In fact, Anyone who sells anything online has been to this place where you don't necessarily have an audience because no one starts with an audience. One of the best things that you can do to get started is something that most of you are not doing and it's very obvious, which is just talk about the fact that you have products or product ideas if they're not created yet. Many people wait until they're launched or they're about to launch to start talking about some of the things that they're coming out with. And many times people need a lot of extra touches to know exactly who you are, what you're an expert in, what you sell, where they can buy it, exactly what happens after they check out, all of these important things to know if they're potentially a customer of yours. But the number one thing that comes up with anybody who's approaching me saying, I'm not getting any sales. I did everything you told me to. I did all the things. And I'm like, well, where have you shared about your products and your shop? It always comes back to this, which is they just haven't talked at all about the fact that these things exist. And I know it seems pretty obvious. If you don't tell people that something exists, how are they going to magically know that it it's in the universe. Well, they're not, there's no magic to it. There's no one that's gonna be searching and just stumble upon your domain name. In fact, it takes months for things to get indexed by Google. So if you're just hoping that people are going to organically find you from the very start, that's a very poor growth strategy. And instead, I would encourage you to start talking about it and going back to what I always say here on this channel, which is be annoying. You need to be annoying to your audience. And if you are, then you're probably just barely hitting them with the daily message that you exist. And it's not gonna be annoying, honestly. <laughs> like if you think you're annoying, it's probably just barely getting to the people you want it to get to. And if you're worried about being annoying, then this online business thing might not be the thing for you. <laughs> If you go all in on one social platform, it's going to have a noticeable effect with your audience. If you're posting three times a day to Instagram, there's no way that you're not going to start to get in front of the right people and start to get feedback about the kinds of things that they're interested in as far as what kind of new products they want or what products they're purchasing from you now that they know about you. While going all in on one platform can be seen as putting all your eggs in one basket, which we definitely want to avoid over time, when you're getting started, it can be a real lifesaver just to concentrate and focus in one area and let the others fall away, both from a management of your time perspective and also of any kind of resources or energy that you're spending somewhere. You just let the other noise get drowned out and focus where you know that you can make an impact. And usually the best place to make an impact is where you actually enjoy spending time. So if that's TikTok, then go there. If it's Instagram, go there. If you like making YouTube videos, go there. But when you are used to spending a lot of time on these platforms and engaging with people there, that's when you can start to speed up. Your content will get better. It will be faster for you to produce that content. And it will also be faster and more streamlined because you've gotten more efficient over time at responding to comments and doing all the admin stuff that it takes to get those posts up and scheduled. So once you feel really confident about your streamlined process on one platform, you've experimented, you've seen what works and what doesn't, and you have a pretty good system going there, then you can layer on the next platform so that you are now doing both of those things in the same amount of time that it used to take you to do just one. Because whenever you're starting something, you're naturally slower and a little bit more clunky at going through and posting and being regular about it. But once you get really good at it, you start to notice where your inefficiencies are, you can tighten those up and then you can make sure that you're spending you know, half the amount of time on that one. And so you now have time to add the second platform and so on and so forth. The next step and definitely another component of being annoying is finding topics that you actually enjoy talking about. Because if you hate the things that you're teaching about or the problems that you are solving through your products, then you're not going to be a very effective product seller. 
a really fast hack to get good at this is to not just talk about things that are interesting to you, but make yourself an interesting person so that people want to follow you. They want to subscribe like you did, right? And they wanna follow along with your daily posts on Instagram or TikTok or Be Real. I find mixing in a lot of the things that you're interested in, aka your niche, and the things that give you your unique flavor and personality is really effective to create engaging content that resonates with the core of the audience that you're trying most to reach and keep. So don't be afraid to share different aspects of your life. You can certainly share a lot about yourself that has a lot of your personality infused into it without sharing any kind of private details. In fact, I'm very private about things like my address and where I am at any given moment, but I'm very public about the things I like to do, like riding horses and hiking and skiing. So. There's a lot of ways that you can incorporate what is going on in your life without doxing yourself on the internet if that's a privacy concern of yours. And then the next step with this be annoying framework that I'm just kind of <laughs> putting together for you here today is to make sure that you have some kind of consistency. It's much more appealing to an audience to see that you're showing up in a consistent way, even if it's not every day. It's better to be consistent and put out one Instagram post a day or one Instagram story a day versus putting out 10 today and then none for the next week. We've covered a lot today as far as how to reach the audience that you're looking for in a short amount of time and kind of how to hack your way into doing more with the same amount of time that you've always had. You might be feeling a little overwhelmed with everything that you need to do when you're starting your shop because it is overwhelming. Building a shop from the ground up is not the easiest thing in the world, which is why a lot of people don't do it. But you're here, so I know that you're interested and capable of getting this done. And if you wanna take it to the next level and have a step-by-step -step system, I have my Launcher Shop Academy, which is the only sponsor of this video. And in that course, I guide you through the six different phases of creating your shop absolutely from scratch so that you have the complete confidence walking out there and talking to your audience about your products because you know they're good, you know they're up and launched, and you know that you're serving your customers well by selling these products. And if you wanna learn more about passive online income and entrepreneurship, make sure you've liked this video, give it a subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.